girls a move their body. And when you move your body, you don't move it nice and sweet and sexy. All right? Woman, you're cute. And you don't need no makeup. Original cute body makeup on mother. Woman, you're cute. And you don't need no makeup. Original cute body makeup on mother. Woman, physically fit. Physically fit. Physically fit. Physically fit. Physically fit. Physically fit. Woman, physically fit. Physically fit. Physically fit. Physically fit. Physically fit. Woman, nice. Everything that's going on. All right, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Super excited to have you all here with me tonight. Trying to do a little couple things, get everything set up here so I can see you guys and you can see me. And you know what? I'm dressed for ball tonight because tonight it is all about getting things ready for a winning season. Are you ready for that? I hope so. Now, right now, I'm going to, as always, remind you that we are streaming here on our Facebook page, our Facebook group, our Hooray Sales group. So in the comments right now, go ahead and tag your buddies that are part of our team, your recruits, your team members, maybe your upline if they're not on yet, and just say, hey, guys, come on over to Move It Monday because there's lots to be learned. And then also, if you have any guests that you would like to learn a little bit more about Tupperware, you want them to find out a little bit about what Tupperware has to offer, go on over to the YouTube channel. Maybe you have someone that you've been wanting to bring into the business, but they're not on Facebook. This will show them the support that they can get because we run our YouTube channel public so that they can jump on and learn that way as well. So make sure that you take advantage of that. You use that to help you spread the word with other people as well. So let's go ahead and get started with our quote, because, you know, I always like to start us off with a quote. I'm going to switch it over here. Um, and, and it's all, as I said, tonight is all about baseball or softball or you know, ball season as the way I look at it. And you may not. This is from the great Hank Aaron and Hank Aaron for many, many years held the, the record for the most home runs. But the thing that about Hank Aaron is that not only did he have the record for the most home runs, he had the record for the most strikeouts as well. That's right. Because see, if you're going to be a great hitter in baseball or in softball, you have to understand that there's going to, you know, you're going to strike out probably more times than you hit a home run. Um, because the key is you have to get up there and you have to keep swinging. And one of the things that Hank Aaron said is you may not think you're going to make it. You may want to quit. But if you keep your eye on the ball, you can accomplish anything. And the thing about that is that when someone comes up to bat, you know, they take their stance, they've got their bat, they're ready, and they're watching the pitcher. But see, in the back of their, their mind, there might be other things going on. They might hear some people, you know, yelling from the stands. They might hear their coach. They might hear the catcher talking some trash to them while they're there. And, and it can take their mind off of what they need to be focused on. And what they need to focus on is the ball. They need to keep their eye on the ball, the pitcher and the ball in her hand and it, watch her take it and watch her bring it around to throw it at them and to see that ball coming right at them. And, um, and I will tell you, uh, my granddaughter plays, uh, fast pitch slow softball. My daughter pay, played fast pitch softball and those balls come in fast and you have to be looking really closely at where that ball is in space so that you can then know when it's time for you to take that swing to really start to make that move and keep that bat coming. you got to know where the bat is in space and you got to know where you want that bat to hit that ball. And the only way you're going to do that is to keep your eye on the ball. It's like our goals. If we don't keep our eye on the goal and we don't keep our eye on what 
our setup is to get ready to hit the ball, our setup, what we've got to do to make sure we make the goal, we're going to miss. We're going to strike out. And this month is a month about not striking out. This month is a month about everybody hitting like a winner. Years ago, we had a, a regional. Um, her name was Karita Sing Song. If you were with us when Karita was part of our re regional team, um, go ahead and put that in the comment and say, you know, that you remember Carito, what you re what you remember about Carito. One of the things that I remember about Carito, she's about this tall. She was really short, and um, she was the cutest little thing. But she was she loved the game of tennis. She, you know, shared that love of tennis with her daughter, who was a competitive tennis player in college. They carried that on. Her grandson is also an avid tennis player, um, and and is competing in a youth league you know he's like 13 14 years old he's already competing and winning and doing a great job with that but the reason i bring her up is because she had she talked one time to us about the importance of when she you know took tennis lessons how her coach would say you know you you set up you prepare you get ready and you keep your eye on the ball and that was the thing i can remember her saying that so many times you, know, you set up, you get your plan in place, you get ready, you get, you, you know, you get pulled back, get ready to swing, but you keep your eye on the ball because if your eye's not on the ball, you're going to swing and you're going to miss. You're not going to get that ball to the net. Same thing happens whether you're playing lacrosse, whether you're playing field hockey, whether you're playing soccer, any game that you're playing, if you don't keep your eye on the ball, you're going to miss out. And the same thing is in our business. If we don't keep our eye on the ball, if we don't keep our eye on the goal, because that's really what the ball is for us, our goal, then we're going to strike out. And so as we start a new month, hopefully you have already taken time to think about, okay, what is it? Because, you know, we're now heading into, um, you know, the, the end of the first week. So you want to be looking at that and going, okay, so what did I do in March that I, you know, I set out to do and I accomplished. That's step one. And then, you know, maybe you didn't have a goal for March. And so you start with, well, what did I do in March? And what did it take for me to do that in March? So if I sold $500, how did I do that? I held a party. I held two parties. I held a party and I collect, you know, sold 10 Wanderlear bowl sets. Whatever it was, kind of look at that and say, okay, well, if I want to do more this month than I did last month, I'm going to have to up my game. If I held one party, I'm going to need to hold two. If I did sold 10 Wendelier bowls, maybe I need to sell 10 That's a Bowl sets. Pick, take a look at what you did. Decide what you did well, what you grew in your learning, and what you can add to that to do even better in the month of April. Because winners show up. And they keep moving and they keep swinging and they don't give up. And the other thing about it is that, you know, I, we don't have to hit a home run every time. Sometimes it's enough just to get on base. And getting on base is the start of everything that we do in our business. So let's take another look at kind of what's going on right here. Um, we do have a new challenge for you for the month. I am super excited about this. These are our ultra clear canisters these are absolutely gorgeous they're modular the way our modular mates are but they have that sheer look um, but they're they're an acrylic or a they're made out of the same material that our um, clearly elegant are made out of they so they're they look like glass but they're not so they don't break which is really nice and and they stack and they look gorgeous on the shelf. They look gorgeous on the countertop. And they can be used in every room of the house. See, I love these for the bathroom because I don't have to worry about them getting broken. And they're great for your cotton balls and your Q-tips and all those things. They're great in your kitchen for those things you want right there at your fingertips. You know, so as you're cooking, they're really handy for you to grab them. Or maybe you want them for snacks and things like that. That would be a great place to use them as well. Right now, you are going to be able to get that entire collection of these for just $15 when you have $2,500 in sales for the month. Now, this is a four-week month, so that's $625 a week. 
Where are you this week? You've got two more days. What do you need to get your 625 for this week so that you'll be on pace to be able to claim those yourself? The other piece about this that's really important is that with that $2,500 in sales, you're going to make $625 and you're going to get a $150 bonus. So that means you're actually going to make $775 while you're earning this. So I want you to break that down. What's it going to take for me to sell $625 each week? If I'm a little behind, what can I do in the next two days? What am I going to do the next three weeks to make sure that I hit my goal so that I can claim this as well? Along the way, of course, Tupper is going to help you with that because they're also giving you a chance during these first two weeks together for you to be able to claim some Fridge Smart. Now, Fridge Smart is one of my favorites. I absolutely love this. I sell them at every single party because I talk about them. And I want you to get your paper and I want you to get your pen and I want you to write some of these things down. And in the comments right now, would you tell me what's your favorite thing to share about Fridge Smart? What's the favorite way that you position these? How do you show them? What are some word choices that you use? Do you have a picture that you like to share? If so, drop it in the comments. We're here to support each other. But a few things that I will tell you that I do at every single party is the first thing that I'll do is I'll ask people, okay, I, you know, because I do, I, I, in my in-person parties, I do an auction. In my online parties, I give them chances for participating. So one of the questions that I will ask is, tell me something that you threw away from your fridge last month. Something you threw away from your fridge last month. That's what I'm asking for, okay? So they're going to sh share this with me. They're going to be commenting. They're going to say, I threw away some cheese. I'm going to throw away some leftovers. But invariably, somebody will get to saying, I threw away lettuce. I threw away carrots. I threw away celery. I threw away spinach. I threw away strawberries. I threw away blueberries. And I let them keep coming. Oh my gosh, yes. Don't you hate when your celery does this? Oh my gosh, don't you? That slime that gets on your cucumbers, you know, whatever it is they say, I just agree with them and I add to it. I, you know, continue. And the next thing you know, they're all going, yeah, me too, me too, me too. And then I will stop and I'll say, okay, I want to ask you guys a question. How much money do you think you spend on produce every month? And they'll throw out some numbers and I'll go, and how much do you think you throw away every much, month? So those are the, the questions that I ask. What did you throw away from your fridge? Get them to the produce. How much money do you think you spent on produce last month? How much produce do you think you threw away? Write those three questions down. Those are really important ones. Then what I will share with them is that studies show that we throw away about 60% of the produce that we buy over the course of it. For most people over the course of the year, that's somewhere between five and $600 of food that we're just throwing away. How many of you would love to keep that five to $600 a month in your pocket or a year in your pocket? How many of you would love to keep that money in your pocket? And I wait. And of course, they all comment, yes, I would like to keep that money in my pocket. And so that leads me to talk to them about Fridge Smart. You see, when we uncover a need, then we have a way to show people a solution. So we have to make them think that they need these so that they'll want to spend their money on them. Because if we just start talking about them and saying, this is our set of Fridge Smart and this is how much it costs, they're going to be shut. They're going to shut down. But now they're interested in learning about it. And then I just pick up my fridge smart and I say, let me introduce you to the solution to the waste that you're throwing away. And it is fridge smart. Now, these are some other key facts. And a lot of these are already on our page. You can go pull up all of them. I'm just giving you a few high level ones in case this is new to you so that you can write this down. But one of the things you're going to say is, Tupperware worked with scientists at the University of Florida, and they discovered that fruits and vegetables breathe. Who knew? I mean, we've always heard that plants could breathe, right, or listen to us. But now we know fruits and vegetables breathe even after they've been harvested. And what happens is that if they don't have the right amount of oxygen to carbon dioxide around them, then they will deteriorate faster. You see, most vegetables 
and fruits put off ethylene gas, and that causes fruits to ripen faster, produce to rot quicker. And what we want to do is keep the right amount of oxygen so it keeps that dissipated so it doesn't affect the food as quickly. That's some, some like high level, keep it up things. And say, so Tupperware worked with them to discover this. And that's what this little slide on the top is all about. I don't have one right in front of me, but that's what you do. You show them the little slide on top of them. You tell them that this controls the amount of oxygen. And based on the fruit or a vegetable, it's either a light breather, a medium breather, or a heavy breather. And this little slide right here will help you control that. And it will keep your produce fresh three to four times longer than it will if you store it in a bag or in the drawer, which we call the smusher drawer, where everything goes bad before you can use it. All right, so those are just some word choices that you're going to want to use. Now, there's several other little tips and ideas about it, and I'm not going to go into all those tonight. But one of the things you always remember is that when you are talking to people about our products, number one, you want to establish a need. Really important that you do that. The second thing is that you want to talk about not only what the features of the product are and the advantages of using it, but more importantly, how it makes their life better, the benefits. And that's why this finding a need is so important because the benefit of Fridge Smart is it keeps your produce fresh longer, it helps you save money, and it protects the nutritional value. That's the benefit. And that pays off to you, or that's kind of the advantage, but that pays off to you because now you have the money in your pocket and you're able to eat the food that you have. The features are the fact that this container breathes, the fact that it has the chart on the front that's molded into it so they know how to store it, the fact that it has the little wells in the bottom to cast, catch the excess water. Those are the, the features of it. The advantage is what it does. The benefit is how it makes your life better. So features, what it is. Advantages, what it does. Benefits, how it makes your life better. If you will use that formula for every product that you talk about, your sales are going to skyrocket because you will be focusing on how you can help people and how that's what we do. We are solution solver or presenters. We are problem solvers, solution presenters. And this is a great way for you to do it. You can get this entire set for just $30 with for every $500 that you sell. You will in turn be able to sell this for over a hundred dollars and put that extra money in your pocket. So take advantage of these offers that Tupper is giving you so that you can work smarter, not harder and get more profit in, um, in your pockets as you do your business. All right. So now we have a brand new mailer that we've just brought out for you guys. It's so exciting. There's so much we have to offer you with this. And we're going to, um, of course, the feature product of it. I have it right here with me tonight. It is our That's a Bowls. Um, and we talked a little bit about this last week and about how you put that picture out there and you create conversations and you use pictures, especially on social media, that evoke emotions. Um, I, I think I had shared Aubrey Stebbins loves to take her pictures using her dog to be a Huck, to be able to show Huck with the Tupperware because it gets him excited. This picture, you know, the little bunnies are just so cute. And of course, Easter's next week. So let's get hopping. And some bunny needs these. These bowls need somebody to take them home. Um, earlier today on our Facebook page, I shared with you an idea about a party in a bowl. And if you have your set of bowls like this, you can take the different bowls. You can prepare different size bowls. And then you can drop these off to people that you know at their office. Now, I would probably use the three larger bowls to do my party in a bowl put a few different products in them, maybe a piece of crystal wave, maybe an on the go tumbler or um, one of the water bottles. You could put a piece of vent and serve in it. You could use maybe if you have a chopping uh, supersonic chopper mini or even the tall because that's the, the featured item purchase with purchase with a hundred dollar order. Um, you could do some of our silicone molds and put those in there. Just any of the things that are on special, put it some catalogs in there, put your mailers in there, put some order forms in there. Good news. 
Tupperware is right now printing order forms that we can order so we don't have to print our own off. Give a big cheer for that. Yay, because that'll make it super easy. And then you're just going to have some citrus peelers that you're going to add with it and that and maybe an instruction sheet. Anyone that places an order, you know, you can take a manila envelope, put the directions, fill out an order form, stick it in here, grab a citrus peeler with you when you drop off your order. You could do your QR code so they can scan and go to your website and place their order. You can do a QR code for them to register for a drawing or you could put drawing slips in there and that way you're creating something fun and visual for people to take to their office to be able to use to date parties to sell products and to introduce the products to other people so that's going to be really important for you to take advantage of we also um of course I have this first time ever opportunity that we can offer these as the host gift for our host. So if somebody wants this entire set now, just for booking their party, you know, we always say when they book a party, um, they get a gift. And when, and I just usually say, you know, when um, you know you get at least a hundred dollars in orders for your party, you're going to get one of these. This is so cute and adorable. It's our little extra mini bowl. Um, it's a perfect size for like a cereal bowl for for kids because they can hold on to it with a little thing. It's a great little popcorn bowl. It's a fantastic bowl to mix up like a salad. You know, like a chicken salad, tuna salad, something like that, and have it ready to do. It's also a great dip bowl for the holidays. You'll use the summertime for your dips. It'll be great for that dips and sauces. And I, all of our that's a bowls, of course, are the bowls with the hole. And it's always fun to show that and show them hanging. So once you get your sample in, take some pictures of it the way you use it so people can see that as well. Um, but they're going to get one of these as their booking gift. Then they're going to be able to get this entire set for $75 and they can add three more of these because everybody needs more than one of these um, at the special pricing also. And of course, you're going to want to upsell that by showing them also this amazing product. Now, I'm going to switch this over for just a second because I want you guys to see this. I don't know if you've ever really seen this up close. This is the That's a Colander. The That's a Colander fits inside of the June, I mean, the That's a Medium Bowl. This is the same color that kind of gives you the idea of this. What's great about this bowl, in case you did not know this, okay, you see how it's got this lines on the side? That's your strainer colander piece. But you'll notice it's flat here and it's flat here. Okay, so there's a flat bottom. So when it sits flat this way, the water, if you've got veggies in there and you water in it or pasta in it, there's a line and it actually shows you the line on the inside to not fill the water above that. Once you get to that level in that of that line, the water is going to pour out these little holes over here. So you want to just follow that line that's right here on the inside. So now I've got everything in here. I've washed, 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 washed. And now I want to drain it so I can flip it and it's going to sit just like this. And nothing's going to fall out, but, but the excess water is going to drain out of it this way. You can also place it inside the bowl. Let me take my bowls down real quickly. All right. So you can also drain it inside this bowl. I love this for grapes. So I take them out of my fridge smart. I put them in here. I rinse, rinse, rinse. Um, and a lot of times when I do that, I'll put some white vinegar in it because that'll kill any, any bugs or anything that might have gotten in it that I wasn't aware of. Real important to do that also with broccoli and um, kale and some of your greens. Rinse, rinse, rinse with that white vinegar and then flip it and it will sit. So when you see it'll sit in here like this, but you can also set it like this and it'll drain into that so that the excess water is in here. Um, that's also good if you have something that you want to reserve the liquid for, for some reason. Um, you can do it that way also. So it just fits in there really nicely like that. And so with grapes, what's nice is I can do that. And then, then I can just set these here and everybody can just grab them and eat right out of here. So it's super nice and super easy for that. So that is our That's a Colander. You're definitely going to want to upsell that with this when you do it. And of course, then you're going to want to try to sell everybody that extra um, set of three bowls, Oops, not something, the three bowls that go with it. So that's going to give you a nice big order. Um, for those folks who like to keep everything matchy matchy, you've got now we've got our pink measuring cups and our pink 
uh, measuring spoons as a set that you can offer to them as well. Here's another thing. If you have been in for the last year since we introduced these beautiful colors, we call these the vintage colors. Um, if you've been in since then, you can actually go into your back office to where my office where it says view orders. Click the view orders, pull it up, and there's a little search bar up there. Now, to make it really work well, here's the way you want to do it. You want to just write the word vintage, okay? And then you're just going to, you're not going to hit return. You're just going to type vintage where it says description, okay? And that's, and so when you do that, that's how you're going to know who has ever purchased vintage from you. You're going to type vintage. It's going to pop up a bunch of things. It's going to say vintage wandeliers. It's going to say vintage servaliers. It's going to say vintage colanders. It's going to say anything that we have sold with those vintage colors, whether it was the wandeliers a year ago, whether it was the servaliers last summer, whether it was the, um, the colander that we sold. We had the measuring cups, but we didn't have the measuring spoons before. So, you know, and we had the tumblers. But and so all of these different pieces that someone might have purchased, if you do that and you then you click, you can click on each one. And it's going to bring up all the people who bought that. So then you can reach out to those people, let them know, hey, I hope you're enjoying your vintage Tupperware. I wanted to let you know we have these new products that match everything you had. And then you can just send them the images. And I would kind of set them up like this, the whole picture of everything with the price for everything. And then I would also do them all like separately and send them each picture separately. And then you can also, of course, tell them, and for the first time ever, if you want to get some orders from your friends, because I know some of your friends bought them last year, you could qualify to get the big bowl set as your host gift. And so it's just another way of utilizing that customer service aspect, going back to the people who've purchased from you before. That's going to help you to be able to take advantage of it. Now, I promised you guys that I was going to teach you a new recipe that's going to help you to upsell what you are working with this month. And so um, what we're going to learn how to make right now, there's so many different recipes and everybody needs that symbols in their kitchen to do this. But this is one of my favorites. It's called... Um, it's, it's called Tupperware bread, or actually we used to call it burp bread, okay, burp bread. Um, but we don't like to burp because it's not polite to do that in public, right? So we call it Tupperware bread. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to use your that's a bowl for this. You're going to, um, in a mix and store plus, you're going to mix your hot, you're going to scald your milk. That means you bring it to a boil because that kills any bacteria in it and the things that could cause yeast not to activate. Okay, so you bring it to a boil. You want to make sure you don't scorch it. Just bring it to a boil, put it in your mix and store plus pitcher, and then add the same amount of water, cold, you know, cold water to it. So it's like one and a half, I think it's one and a half cups of milk scalded, one and a half cups of water. Mix it together, set it aside. You want it to be lukewarm. What is lukewarm? That is when you take the, you know, it's like when you're doing a baby bottle. You put it on the back of your hand to see if it's, um, too hot. If, it, if you can't really feel it, that's lukewarm. So it's around 90 degrees is kind of what you're, you know, or, or 85 to 90 degrees is what you want to feel that is. You want it to be body temperature on the outside. Okay. So now it's, you've got that going. In the bowl, you're going to go ahead and put your flour, your sugar, your salt, your dry yeast, and then you're just going to mix it together. I like to use my silicone whisk and mix it all together. You're also going to take, once the, the your liquid is kind of cooled down, you're going to beat four eggs and stir that into it. And then you're going to make a well with the dry stuff. So right in the bottom, you know, you've been, you put all your dry ingredients in here. You mix, mix, mix. And the recipe, I'm going to put it on the hooray page so you'll have it. You mix it all together and then you just kind of make a well. You know how you make a little hole kind of in the middle of the bowl. You're going to take that liquid, the milk, water, and the eggs, and you're going to pour it in the center. You're not going to stir it. You're going to put the seal on it. You're not going to burp it. You're just going to put the seal on it. Just walk it all the way around and just like that. Okay. And then I just usually do a little swirl. I don't shake it. I just do a little swirl. That's just to kind of get it started. And what happens is it sort of seeps its way in. What you're really doing here is giving the yeast an opportunity to to get active, to start working. And it's going to mix with the liquid 
you know, the yeast that's in the dry ingredients is going to mix with the liquid and it's going to start to bubble. And that's going to create the gas that causes your bread to rise. And what you're waiting for is when the, it takes about 30 minutes. And what's going to happen is this is just going to go boop, right off. The reason you don't want to, to burp it is because that presses all the air out and it doesn't allow the air bubbles that are formed from the yeast to expand. So you don't want to burp it. You just want to put the seal on. But then once this pops off, you'll know it's time. It's about 30 minutes. Then you're going to take your spatula and you're going to stir it all around and you're going to keep mixing it. And then you're going to get your hands in it and you're going to start playing with it a little bit because you want to get it to that texture. And it may be a little bit tacky and sticky. And you're going to add melted butter into it and mix it all up. And you're going to maybe add some more flour. I usually keep about a half a cup on the side and just stir it in and mix, stir it in and mix until it's all mixed up. Once it's all done, all mixed up, it kind of has a nice little give back to you. You're going to once again put the seal back on it. Not going to burp it. You're just going to seal it all the way around the edges. Just go walk it all the way around just like that. Pop it on. Okay, let it sit again. It's going to take about another 30 minutes or so before it pops it off. It might take a little bit longer or whatever, but when it does, press it down and now you're ready to fix your bread to cook. And you're going to take that bread and you can do it in loaf pans. You can make it into freeform um, loaves or you can, you know, make little sculptures with it and you can place those onto your silicone mat just like this um, you can do that you know like make your hand hand crafted rolls and kind of roll them um, you can also roll the whole piece of dough and just kind of cut them off and then just place those on there they're sort of like they'll be and then put them close together so they mash together that's sort of like a parker house route roll and it comes out really good you can brush them with some more butter sprinkle seeds on poppy seeds or sesame seeds on top of it it's really yummy put some sunflower seeds in there as well the other one that i love to do is i'm using using our little um these are the eight inch rounds you get a set of two of these uh, for the 39 dollars you can take your dough cut it in half roll it out thin okay so you get it so that it's about um, about a half an inch maybe quarter inch to a half an inch and then you're going to just put a little bit more brush it with some butter mix some cinnamon and sugar sprinkle that on there cinnamon and brown sugar you can add some chopped nuts if you want if you want to put some mini chocolate chips in it you can and and then you're going to roll it up kind of like a jelly roll and then you're just going to slice them. And what you're going to make are little cinnamon rolls. And you're going to place the cinnamon rolls in here. Put one in the center and then around the outside. That's why you want to kind of do it in two things because you want them to be kind of small and put those in there. Or you can just do four big ones and then they'll all kind of come together and you can bake these in the oven. And then you've got these yummy cinnamon rolls there as well. So um, you can use your muffin pans and make little muffin ones. You can do three little bitty balls and make them kind of like the clover leaf ones it's just so much fun it's something that's great to do with kids as well and it's a great way to showcase these beautiful bowls you've got your measuring cups that you can use with it you've got your measuring spoons you can use with it you're bringing in the mix and store plus you're showing the silicone because remember when they buy one of the silicone molds this month they also can get the 12 inch round as a gift so it's building this desire for all of these products and that's what's going to make it great so that's i'll, I'll have all of these directions for you guys um, to be able to see uh, and you can do a quick screenshot right now if you want to so you'll have it but i will post all of this for you so that you will easily be able to do these and it just bakes 400 degrees in the oven until brown um, it takes about 20 minutes for it to bake so it'll be perfect and i'll make sure all that's in there as well so that's this is what you're going to do you're going to mix them up let it sit till it pops the top stir everything together put it back on let it rise to its gump uh, pops again mix it up together knead it get it nice and done fix it the size, shapes that you want put it in your pan let it rise again for about 20 minutes and then stick it in your oven 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes for your bread it'll be so delicious and you'll be so happy depending on what size your bread is this is what's going to change how much time so that 
is our Tupper bread recipe. I hope you love it. Who's going to try it? I want to know in the comments. Tell me who's going to try this bread. Who's going to be the first one? And I want you to take pictures of it when you do it because you can then say to people oh my gosh look what i just made using my tupperware bowls and it'll be a great way for you to get the conversation started people are going to want to know how they can make that bread too and you know what easter's coming next weekend so you can make the homemade rolls for your family for easter so take advantage of this fun recipe here all right so are you ready for some more say yes say see say we all right so um, we are so excited that we have um, a special training for you guys from our director, Tara Henderson Empson. Um, and she is a master at, uh, she, she has been with us in Tupperware since 2018. She let her account go inactive in 2019, came back in 2020. Um, and started all over and became a director in six weeks. That's right, guys. In six weeks, she went from an inactive consultant to a director. And of course, she has continued as one of our stars. She is an excellent recruiter. And she's going to share with you uh, the way she approaches it. And then we're going to talk a little bit about it afterwards. But this is um, a super amazing training she's going to share with you. So I want you all to get ready because it is time for you to learn all about how you can recruit too. All right. So I'm going to get it started here. Hi guys, it's Tara. I am so sorry I could not join you guys live tonight as I have commitments with my children, but I wanted to hop on and share some tips and tricks about recruiting, especially since we just had that announcement on Friday from Doug and Peter to really strive to get the four recruits in April. We don't know what's in store for us yet, but we all know that Tupperware is um, very generous and um, you know, with all their incentives that they give us. So let's get a head start and start recruiting now and make sure we all get those extra four people on our team. So I'm here to share some tips and tricks that I'm using as well as some of my team members. So the first step is mindset. Take that pressure off yourself to get all these people to start selling on your team. We just want to get them in the door first, which is, you know, the hardest part. So what I did because I did struggle in the beginning with recruiting um, when I joined in 2018, and I was kind of baffled because it's what I did full time for a living. I was a store manager and I recruited, hired, interviewed every day, but I really struggled with Tupperware. So what I did was I changed my mindset and then everything started falling into place. So instead of putting the pressure on myself to recruit, I just tried to get people to open up a Tupperware account. That's the verbiage that I use. Recruiting sounds a little bit more daunting to the person you're talking to. It sounds like you're getting them, you know, signing them up to do a job. So instead, take that word out of your verbiage. I don't even say join my team. I really just use the verbiage, open up a Tupperware account. And I want, I, I get them to do that by selling them on the products in the kit. So I sell the kit as a set or a gift set. I don't call it a kit. You know, we know that we have um, two or three kits every month. Today we have, a, in April we have two. And for this training, I'm gonna use the entry kit since it's on sale for 49 instead of 99 and it's half off. And I wanted to particularly talk about um, this tactic today because we don't have the virtual kit option anymore for $15. And let's admit it, a lot of us relied on that. So we need to figure out how do we sell the entry kit or the deluxe demo kit. And we're gonna focus on the value of the products. And again, we're gonna call it a set or a gift set. And gift set's really good to use, especially now with Mother's Day coming up. So how do I do that? You know, first I thought back to my own experience. You know, when I joined Tupperware, I did not sign up for because I wanted a second job. I was very happy where I was. I was making six figures a year. I signed up for the discount. That's what a lot of people do. Or they sign up, and we call them kidnappers, right? And they sign up just for the product. But that's okay, because we don't know if, like myself, who became a director, they may change their mind. So right now, we're just focusing on, on helping them open up a Tupperware account and get their foot in the door. That's all we're gonna talk about today. We're not gonna talk about scheduling a launch party. We are not gonna talk about, um, you know, 
getting them on a career path with Tupperware, all that's gonna come later. The purpose of this training is just to get them to open up an account. Okay, so again, what I do is sell the kit as a set or a gift set. How do I do that? Um, I personally do my parties on Messenger now. I used to do them in events. I do them in Messenger just to make sure that everyone is seeing my posts because there's been some issues with um, notifications on Facebook. But when I do my Messenger party, what I do is I get them hooked on the products in the kit before the party even starts. And I do that with my pre-party posts. And I also get them hooked on the products that come in the first order reward for that month, which right now is the Fridge Marts or they could pick the vent and, the Fridge Marts or the Vent and Serve set. So here's how I do it. Um, you know, I start some pre-party posts like about five days before the actual 30 minute party. And I make sure that I am covering all of the products in the kit and the first order award items. So right now, again, we're gonna talk about the entry kit that's on sale for half off for $49. Um, I will make sure I highlight those items leading up to the party. So I will talk about the Super Sonic Chopper Compact, the Measuring Mates set, the Silicone Spatula, and the That's a Bold Junior. I will also do posts about the Fridge Smarts and the Vent and Serve since that is the first order award this month if they open up a Tupperware account. Um, and just one thing I want to talk about with the chopper, that's one of those items and the fridge smarts that you really have to not just show a photo. Um, so I typically use videos um, and you can just search them on YouTube um, just so they can see it or I do a live demo with the chopper. So those two things, I would definitely try to not just do a picture because people want to see how it works um, because it's a little bit more involved, those two products. Um, so those are six products right there or six posts that I know that I'm gonna do leading up to the 30 minute party. Um, I also wanted to make sure everybody knew about the Hooray mock party we set up and Aubrey does such a good job doing that for us. So thank you, Aubrey. I use those posts all the time. Um, so if you don't know about that resource, just search Hooray company mock party and then click on events and you will see day one, day two, day three, you'll see all these different posts that you can use and copy and paste, and um, you can use those for the six products that I'm talking about today. Okay, so we are, just to recap, going to make sure that we are talking about these six products in our pre-party posts leading up to the 30-minute party. And then after you have the party and you show them the catalog and everything, you'll be surprised at how many people, especially that chopper, uh, and fridge marts, how many people will get an item that's in the kit. But here is the kicker. You have to figure out a way to collect their orders and not just post your website or the party link. Because if they go on and they order, it's done, okay? You can't convert that order to the entry kit. So what you wanna do is either in your parties, you can just set it up where they message you your order. That's the simplest way. Um, but the best way is to use some kind of order form where you can capture their information and they type in what they want to order. I use a Google Doc. So, um, for example, if I get an order through my Google Doc and someone is, this maybe Melissa is a party guest and she's ordering the compact chopper. I, the order has not been placed yet. It's only been communicated to me. Now that I know what she wants, I'm gonna send her a follow-up message. And usually what it sounds like is something like, hey Melissa, you know, I saw that you wanted to order the compact chopper. I just wanted to make sure that you saw that you can get this gift set for $49 and free shipping. So it's cheaper than the chopper, and it's like you're getting these other three items for free. The spatula, the That's a Bull Junior, and the Measuring Mate set. Almost all the time, guys, they say, oh, yeah, well, let's do that. I'm saving money, plus I'm getting three free products. But again, you can only do that if you don't post your website. So it's a little bit more work on your end, but it helps to build that relationship and you will definitely get some recruits or people to join, um, people to open up a Tupperware account that way. 
Now, sometimes when I, I send them the picture, you know, of the entry kit, um, you know, along with the message I just told you about, sometimes they'll have a question about it. You know, what does this mean? Does this mean that, you know, uh, there's fees every month or do I have to sell? So I send them a message back and I just, you know, respond to their questions and I say simply, you know, there's no selling required. There's no monthly fees, you know, because when, when they sign up, for the or when they order the entry kit they get the free basic website right so there's no monthly fees and then I'll just say plus you get a discount for 12 months no matter what because even if they don't stay active after the first four months Tupperware gives them another eight months after that to still use um, their 25% off discount and accept orders and get their 25% commission. So no matter what, they're gonna get a discount for a minimum of one year. So that's how I answer that question. No selling required, no monthly fees, plus you get a discount for at least 12 months. So that's what I focus on at parties. Um, so, and a lot of the times if you use an order form, for example, you already have all their information. So sometimes they'll just want me to order the kit for them. Um, and then I do that and I send them all their information and let them know, you know, what their website is. I typically just use their first and last name. That's if they ask me to do it. Um, but you know, it's a simple way for us to have control, um, for the sale and the transaction from beginning to end. So that's what I do with parties. Um, if you don't have any parties scheduled right now, you can easily still get some people to open up a Tupperware account, again, by using the value of the entry kit. So I um, do posts in my VIP group and on my regular wall, my regular profile. I did one last month that I will um, post it in the Hooray group after this training so you guys can see the verbiage that I used. But all I did was take those four products, the chopper, the spatula, the that's a bull junior, and the measuring mates, and I posted individual products. I think that's more powerful so they can see the price underneath for each item. So I posted the four pictures, and you know, I just said simply, who wants this set for $49 instead of $118? Please comment below. Um, Marsha, if you can just let me know if I'm correct. I used a $15 value for the That's a Bull Junior to come up with the 118 value. Um, it might be more, um, but it, you know, the supersonic chopper is 50, the measuring mate set is 30, the silicone spatula is 23, and then I used $15 for the That's a Bull Junior. So that's how I got the total of 118. So I just posted each of the four pictures and I said, who wants all four items for $49 and free shipping instead of $118. Um, a lot of people on my team did that as well. Last month, our team was number one in recruits. We had seven people join our team, and I believe six out of those seven were from that post, because um, some of my team members also used um, my verbiage. So um, that is another easy way you can do it. Again, you're just selling the products as a set, and you're communicating the value. It's very important to say how much it is out of door, and how much it would be regular price. So always make sure you do blank versus blank. Um, the other thing that I do each month when I find out, you know, what the first order award is going to be and what our kits look like, our, our demo kits, is that I use the order search. And this is my favorite, favorite thing about our new system is that you can now research and look at who ordered specific items from you in the past. So for example, the chopper. Okay, we know that that is a great way to get them into the entry kit because the chopper alone is 50 and they can get the whole kit for 49 bucks. So what I did was I went into view orders and you'll see those search search bars at top and it says search by product. I put in chopper and you have to click on each product. You'll have to click on the chopper product, the, the compact chopper, then you'll see who ordered that, ordered that in the past. Then I'll do it again and I'll see who ordered the tall chopper in the past. So I'll do it for every size and I'll message those people because I know they already love the chopper. And I'll say, hey, like I, I hope you're enjoying your chopper. I just wanted to make sure that you saw this month that you can get all four products 
for $49 in free shipping instead of just paying $50 for a second chopper in case you need any gifts. So, um, you know, I had a customer a couple months ago buy five choppers after she got hers for Christmas gifts. So just because they already have one doesn't mean that you can't message them because they may, if they love it, they want to give it as a gift because um, they already know how awesome the product is. And I'll do that for each item. I'll do it for the silicone spatula. I'll see who ordered it for me in the past. I'll send them a message. And I'll also do it for the measuring mate set. Plus, I will go ahead and do it for what's in the first order award. So I'll look up and see who, who are my vent and serve customers. Who are my fridge smart customers? You know, and I'll message, um, let's say someone bought a, a medium shallow or, or a medium vent and serve set for me. I'll message them and say, hey, just wanted to make sure that if you saw, that's how I start everything off. Just wanted to make sure that you saw. Wait, we're helping them. We want to make sure that they didn't miss a deal. So just wanted to make sure that you saw that you can qualify this month to get the vent and serve set, the five piece set for $20 instead of 104 when you open up a Tupperware account. And again, we've talked about this in the past, you may get some no's, right? But you're also gonna get some yeses. Um, you know, and Angie, if you're watching, Angie had two recruits last month um, by using the value of the set. Um, so, you know, maybe if there's any input you wanna share in the, in the chat, or in the comments, Angie, but you know, it's a very easy way to do it. It's not a lot of work and you're just making sure that customers are getting the best deal. You know, you're helping them out. So I hope that helps guys. You wanna get into that mindset of not worrying about if they're gonna be super sellers at this point. You know, you're just gonna get their foot in the door and then a week or two later, you know, after the dust settles and they received their kit, then I'll send them a message and I'll say, hey, like, can I do a 30 minute party for you so your friends learn your website? You can keep all the commission and you can also get free Tupperware with your hostess rewards. Okay, so I'll talk about that later with them. But initially, I'm just using the products in the kit to try to get them in the door and to try to get them to join the Hooray team. So comment with any questions, guys. Um, hope you are having a great Monday night. Have a great Easter week and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. All right. Wow. Guys, was that not amazing? I hope you have pages and pages of notes there. And as I said, you know, tell me what you loved about what you just heard. Um, the thing that I want to I want to really reiterate is that uh, Tara, when she joined, she had no intention of selling Tupperware. She just wanted to be able to shop at a discount. Last week, we interviewed Amanda Aliu, who was our number one newcomer, who said the same thing. I wasn't interested in selling. I have a full-time job. What I, you know, was interested in was being able to get more Tupperware. And, you know, and at the, so it, once they get in the door, and I think that that's the really important thing that uh, Tara said, because I will tell you in my vast years in Tupperware, I, there are many, many people that I've talked to who about joining the company, you know, opening an account. And that is a word that I've used for many years, opening an account that said, well, I'm not really interested in selling. And I go, you know, that's really up to you. But wouldn't you rather take advantage of what you can get now and be able to shop at a discount? And because you get a free website, you might as well share it with your friends and see what happens. And so it just gives them permission to think they don't want to do anything. But did you notice what Tara said at the end? how she then shows them the other things. So like she reaches out to the people who maybe want vent and serve or fridge smart and said, you know, did you see that you can get this for $20? And, and then they're like, well, what do I have to do? You know, we can just post a, your link. You know, if you open an account, you'll have a website for free. You can post that link. We'll post a few specials. I'll help you. Once again, that's always important. Let them know it's a, that you're in it with them. I'll help you. And all you need is a $99 order and you can get these for, you know, $20 and you're going to make $25 at the same time. What do you have to lose? Right? So that's really the key and how you do it, but you can't get started until you start swinging. And as she also said, sometimes you'll get nose and nose is just a time at bat that you swung and you missed. 
It doesn't mean necessarily you're done. You're not, you know, you haven't struck out necessarily just because you get one no. You just keep swinging because if you just keep swinging, you're going to connect. You're going to find that person who wants to take advantage of what you have. And then it's the next step. So don't just say, okay, now they're in. I don't ever speak to them again because they said they didn't want to sell. No, no, no. You're going to want to show them what's next, what's in it for them. I remember Aubrey Stebbins shared the same thing. She just wanted to get the discount. She wanted to get products, but then she saw, well, if I sell this much, they're going to give me this. If I do this, they're going to give me this. So she just kept doing so she could get, and that's what's going to happen with the people that you bring in. You can bring in people who say they're going to sell and they're going to do nothing. And you can bring in people who say they're not going to sell and they can do everything. So you just don't know. And that's why you keep trying. Worst case, they spend $49 on 100, it's 158 value. Um, but as Tara said, it was um, the value of the products is actually about 120 because the that's a junior is, is um, $18 value. But the it also includes the 158 value includes the fact that they're going to get a whole pack of catalogs and they're going to get this free website. And they actually have available to them for 90 days the plus account, which gives them the top social and they're getting ready to launch a brand new upgrade of the top social platform as well, which is another $30 value. So, um, you know, so right at 120 is the value of the products, but you know, 118 let's don't quibble, you know, about a few cents there, right? But the best case is that they can change their life. For you, it pays you to get these people in for, you know, for bringing somebody in and they're them doing the $99, you're going to get this great freezer mate set, which is going to be perfect for the summertime selling for $20. When they go ahead and hold the launch party and they get to that first $500, you're going to also be able to get my favorite pot. This is my favorite saucepan for just $40. I, I'm, I've got to get somebody this month because I need another one of these because it's just such a perfect size for everything. And then of course, as Tara mentioned for them, they can get the fridge smarts or they can get the vent and serve. The reason that there's the three fridge, fridge smarts that are in this configuration is because that matches um, the deluxe kit. They You get a small deep in that set. So it gives them the complete fridge smart starter set there. And of course, um, then the vent and serve, it's, it's everybody needs either one of those. And they, everybody likes choices. So find which one they like and talk about it. Do what I talked about at the beginning about Fridge Mart and get them excited about the Fridge Mart. So then they're going to want to join so they can get that set for 20 bucks as well. Plus, we've added this new. And once again, this is where you take them to the next step, show them what's in it for them when they place their first $250 order. Um, after they get started in the first 30 days, they're going to get a $75 go shopping on us certificate, anything they want out of the, the catalog for free. Um, and when they have 500 in sales, it's going to take it up to $150. Plus, they'll be in the Confident Start program and can earn additional products for free. And they can also get that set like you're working to get that Fridge Smart set this, this month for 500 in sales in the next two weeks. For you, Here's the other thing that happens when you welcome people into the business, when you get them in the door, just like Tara said, get them in the door. We'll help you show them what's in it for them once they get here, but let's get them in the door. Then when you have three people and Angie, um, you know, you were so close, you had your sales and you two recruits, but that's okay. Cause you know what? You're not out you get to start swinging again. So this month we're going for that one more recruit and we're going to make sure you have your sales. You're going to move up to manager and look what you're going to get. You're going to qualify for the fry pan, the knives and the cutting board for just $25 just for stepping up to manager this month. So this is out there for everyone to take advantage of. And of course, once you do that as a manager, you're going to qualify for your profit plus bonuses and your Vanguard bonuses. And for our first time new managers, you're going to play in our new manager growth program, which means that you have three months of goals, your first three months as a manager, $100, two amazing products. And by doing it all three months, you get an iPad for free. Now, 
one of the things that um, we were talking about, you know, I, at Friday I had shared with you, both Doug and Peter shared with you that there was something special coming and four is the magic number. And we've been talking about that and Tara mentioned it as well. Well, I was supposed to get all the final details today and I didn't. So they weren't quite ready, I guess, in translation. So it's coming, but I will tell you that it works like this. You have to get four. Okay, I'm back. I don't know what happened, but I'm back. Okay, and um, I'm gonna get my slides back up here because they're not here. I hope that's the right ones. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Yep, that's the right ones. Okay, so what, where I was at is that um, we don't know for sure. They haven't announced yet and told us for sure what it is that you're going to get. But I do know this. I know that four or more is what you want. Four or more is what you want. More is better because then if somebody strikes out, you know, you're still in the game. All right, four recruits, and they're going to have a special offer for them for April, May, and June to qualify for something really nice. What you're going to get when they do it is not a product, not something, you know, logo or of the future, but something that you're going to be able to use this summer that comes in handy for all of us. Cha-ching. That's right. There is going to be a cash bonus for you for recruiting for this month and working and getting them started so that, you know, we get them working. So you got to get them in the door. That's why I said four or more. Get them in. Let us help you help them to get free products and rewards. And in the process, you're going to make money. So I want to know who's going to be the next one to welcome somebody because you've learned a lot of great things tonight about how to go about doing that. I want to see you do it. I want to see all these great things happening as we go forward. And, um, and I want to see who's going to be stepping up this month. Uh, so let's see. There we go. Okay. Reminder that um, coming up on the 15th, we have Spring Fest, a virtual Spring Fest for the region. You can still register if you missed it. Um, it is absolutely free to register for this. You can also buy raffle tickets up until the 12th of April. But we have a special two-week challenge that is going on. So our long-term challenge ended with the end of the month uh, last Wednesday. So um, March 29th, if you're registered by March 29th, you will be in the running for the recognition for the long term. But everybody who's registered can play in this. It's a two week personal challenge, $1,000 in personal sales, two plus two or more personal recruits. That's going to factor right into the four that you want anyway. So why not take advantage of that and let's get going. Let's make some big things happen in these next two weeks. A reminder that um, we have a brand to, tomorrow night. We have our meeting greet for all of our new reps. Um, information's already been shared. Be sure to invite your new reps or maybe you're new and you've not, or maybe you just don't really know everything that there is available to you. Be sure to join me there as well. Um, but also our VIP council for this month. These are all of our leaders who are paid in title. Also um, invited this month is Angela Threat, who is our new manager that promoted last month. She's not on my list, but she is also invited. Uh, Michelle Davis, Don Vermette, Karen Edwards, Shannon Daniel, Terry Bird, Tara Henderson, Corinne Brown, Mary Lou Warren, Veronica Todorov, Stacey Clifton, Donna Jo Wilkinson, Doreen Pelletier, Colleen Halbram, and Jean Woody, all qualified that, you know, you're um, I will be sending you the Zoom link to join me and we will be doing some planning for birthday month. I'm going to share some great tip things about birthday month coming so that you can get ready to hit the ground running, to finish up April strong and to be able to make it a great May. 
And of course, you're going to help me come up with some great ideas that we can use for everybody. So that's one of the great reasons you want to be a leader. It's a great reason that you want to get paid at title because number one, you make money. And number two, you get to help me plan all this great training that we're offering to you as well. So as we close tonight, I have one more quote. And this is once again, also from the wonderful Hank Aaron. Um, he, his, and I love this. My motto was always to just keep swinging. Whether I was in a slump, or feeling badly or having trouble off the field, the only thing to do was to keep swinging. And what does that mean for us? It means that, you know, there are going to be days when we don't really feel feel the love. We don't feel like getting up and making those phone calls. We don't feel like making those posts. We don't feel like um, what we're doing is, is connecting, but we don't stop. We just keep swinging. We take one step at a time, we do one more thing. And when we do that, we make progress because, you know, just swinging is keeping us in the game. Sometimes we connect, we get to first base and that's connecting with the person that we're wanting to talk to about dating a party, about joining um, the business. And sometimes we get to second base and that means we actually set a date for a party. And we've um, maybe set an interview up to talk to the person more about joining us. And sometimes we make it all the way to third base. Yay. And maybe that's when we did, um, you know, we, we've got the party all going. You know, so we, we show up for the party. It's when we give them the new recruit, the facts about the business, and then we take it on home. And that's when we make the party a success. We upsell, we date parties, we close the party with the host getting lots of great rewards. And of course, we, with our new uh, potential recruits, we're closing the deal. We're letting them know what's in it for them. And we're showing them how Tupperware is the place they want to be because we're a team that works together and teamwork makes the dream work. So guys, thank you so much for being on. I saw Charlie already gave you the winner for tonight. Um, and I'm excited about all of that. Looking forward to seeing um, some great recruiting over the next two days. And of course, some great selling of this amazing That's a Bowl Tower. Who's going to sell the most of those, by the way? I want to know in the comments, tell me how many is your plan to sell this month? Think about every time you sell one of those and you upsell the colander and you upsell the extra bowls, you put tw over $25 in your pocket. Who doesn't need $25 um, right now? And every time you sell that, that's another $25. So you sell 10 of those, that's $250 in your pocket. So let's get busy. All right. Thanks.